I'm going to show you the most incredible, you can call it invention, I call it actually real research. This is how to open up the skin and actually the pores that are the internal part of you. See, once your skin is open, then your body can actually start to breathe. The skin, remember, is the largest organ of the body. It's about 10 pounds. And if this skin is clean, you can see the lymph system's clean. We're going to show you a technique to open up the pores and to rejuvenate the skin. You're going to start taking off the first layer. You're going to start using some solvents and different types of things like these called gua sha spoons. These are techniques that have been done for many years. In fact, the gua sha has been around for about uh, maybe a few thousand years through the, the Asians and uh, a lot of different ancient cultures using these techniques. But we're going to bring them to the forefront now. Okay, so let's go over a few things you can just get at your store. We want to use, if we don't have any of these other solvents, this is very simple. It's apple cider vinegar, but it's raw. That's the special part of this. If it's distilled, it's called acetic acid. And acetic acid, I would suggest to remove that out of your diet. If you look up and do the research, you'll see that acetic acid is responsible for a lot of weird diseases. They're called calcium diseases or oxalate diseases, calcium oxalate. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to break down the scleroderma, the first layer coating. And if you don't have some of these other solvents, you can use raw apple cider vinegar. You put it on your body, you let it clean yourself. And these are one of the solvents. We'll go ahead and show you how to use these very simple. Baking soda. What kind of baking soda? Well, I try to use only baking sodas that have no contaminants. This is aluminum free. Most of the baking sodas have aluminum in them. Now this is a really cool ingredient also because you can drink this and also put this on your skin. It tastes like very rich vitamin C. And we make it from these flowers. This is actually a very smart opening of your pores to open up the ascorbic acid. You'll notice that ascorbic acid really opens the pores up. So that's one of the products that you put on your skin and you can also drink this too. Now, Noni, if you have this around you, one of the things we're gonna use, the ingredients, is called fulvicumic and almond acid and this is a, a very special ingredient. It's in Hawaii, it's all over the place. Uh, you can see if you wanna pan here, these are Noni trees right there. They're full of fruit trees and they just grow wild all over the place. These have the magical ingredient called fulvic acid, and that's what makes this medicinal. Remember, it's nutritional and it's medicinal. It's more of a, of a ferment. Remember, you can use lime, lime, lemon, put it on the skin. You're really trying to get the grease off the skin, open up the pores up. Remember, it's free. A protectant is a very good form of aloe vera, and you can see that this is the wide blade form. There's many forms that you could use, but this form here is the most, uh, the wider, the fatter uh, of the blades. I found out to be have a little more mucus and a little better for the skin. So we put this on a lot at the very end. We have two different alcohols. I get this one from Costco. It's a very, very good form. It's five times distilled. You want to go ahead and have clean vodka or clean alcohol. I don't use any of the other alcohols really. It's not the brand, but it's a five times distilled vodka because you don't want any residue or smell of alcohol on your skin. The alcohol to me is poisoned by itself on the skin. It's too strong. It'll wrinkle you up. It'll dry you out. So what we do is we put in silicon in this. This is the sodium bicarbonate version or the alkaline version. We're putting in a little of the silicon silica, we're putting in the sole salt, and we're putting in the magnesium. Uh, I like to use also two types of magnesium. I use a magnesium hexahydrate, and I use also a magnesium chloride. So these are the, the elements that we use for this here, and the most important here that we put in is baking soda. Put in about two tablespoons of this. I put in about a teaspoon of this, up to a tablespoon. I put in maybe up to a teaspoon or tablespoon of this. Uh, which is the magnesium, uh, also of the other magnesium, another teaspoon, and you've got yourself your solution. Uh, number two solution, very simple, is the fulvic acid solution or the acid solution. What we use with this is we put a little silicon in still. I put in about a tablespoon in because we want the lubrication. Number two, we put in the salt. The salt is a conductive element. It also gives uh, a sanitizing effect also, opens the pores up. We don't use any of the magnesiums or anything because those are all alkaline. And what we use is we use now a fulvic acid, very concentrated form. So this is a pH of two. A lot of the fulvic acids don't have the power. This one does. And we also use a black mica concentrate. This is also a very close to pH of two. So mix all that up. You got yourself uh, a acid solution. You can vary the amounts of solution you want to put in there varying upon how much power you want the alcohol and or the solution to have. So last few things. We also use a few essential oils. I use cinnamon. I use also eucalyptus. These are all found on the website. 
wholesale and also I use peppermint. These are very smart to keep the pores open and also to facilitate lymph flow. The essential oils, they must be those steam uh, processed or really processed in a way that really is not contaminated. A lot of them are contaminated with different types of, of gasoline or different types of petroleum products. We're going to show you now how to actually apply these. It's very simple. Remember, we have two solutions for the alcohol. The one we just put together was the alkaline solution, which was mo mostly made up of the sodium bicarbonate, magnesium chloride, the magnesium hexahydrate, and uh, the silicon or silica. Now, the number two solution is the acidic solution, and the acidic solution is really for dissolving cement. This is for neutralizing particles and different types of resins and things that are stuck into the pore. So each one has its own specificity and the reason why you're using it. We're going to show you how to make the acid one real quick. About a tablespoon in there and you could use, remember, a little more, a little less. We're just trying to get some lubrication. We're going to use some fulvic acid now and this fulvic acid is a very strong solution and we're going to use in this one approximately in this size about 150 drops and each time I put this in, you can see what it does to the water, uh, is about 20 drops. So we're going to put in a I'm going to put in a small amount also of black mica. The black mica is very strong. It's also a secondary or different type of dissolvent. And so I put in about the same thing. This is the sole salt, the last ingredient here. This is for conductability. When we put this in, it is a little alkaline, so we're just using a little bit. Use about just a teaspoon or so. And that's it. Shake this up, and we're ready to do some cleaning. This is the most significant way to really get off the wax off your skin. All right, we're going to get started with cleaning the skin. I want to introduce to you Jerry Greer, and Jerry designed him and his family this whole sanctuary. Come on over, Jerry. The noni comes from Jerry's house, the aloe comes from Jerry's house, the bananas, the pineapples. Lime. Lime. <laughs> Hello. Okay. So. This is something that we live here in Hawaii in a very humid climate and the body attracts a lot of different types of mold. Think of all the things that crawl on your skin and what this does with the alcohol, the first thing it does, we're just wiping everything off. We're just going to call this a sort of like what you call a sanitizing cleaning. We're going to go through a, a, several of the different techniques here. First one is to use the alcohol. The alcohol is to just get the body clean and it does take about 10 minutes or so to do the whole body so we're going to do a few parts. And you're gonna see that the body is really, the skin is your protective layer to the outside world. And this is what keeps you healthy. And if your skin is transparent, that means that you're probably most likely very healthy. Remember, lean is clean and clean is lean. Now you've lost about 50 pounds just by changing your lifestyle, changing your diet, and you know, really, learning how to live more of a naturalistic, but better yet, more of a liquid diet and less of a dense diet. That's right. Tell us about that just a bit. Oh, I try to stay on mostly liquids and uh, fruits and vegetables from the garden, either blended or juiced, less grains, uh, less starches. Um, so be an example like cooked foods you mean more. So you, uh, you, that's you, right. you eat a variety of different foods, though, but you don't, you do eat any meat at all? No meat. And when did you stop eating any I type of flesh? I stopped eating meat when I was 25. And why did you do that? 25 years ago. Um, was it hip? Uh, or because was it? I was sick. And uh, when I uh, got off meat and got off dairy products, I got better. Okay. Now, what we're really trying to do is everybody's got a story to get to the point they're at. You're going to add this to your story and you're going to get a massive change because remember, once your skin starts to breathe, your body starts to become the solar panel it is and you really get a chance to absorb the sun. Now, what we're going to do with Jer here is I want to do a little one on myself here so I can show you sort of the technique. And you're going to do this to yourself, but we're going to just show you how hard you have to push a little bit because you really think your body's got pen on it. Your arm is a representation, just the part here of your overall cleanliness. So once you start to open up the skin, your whole body starts to bleed out its internal poisons. If you see that you have these veins on you, the veins just show you that the skin is at a very thin level because there's nothing underneath so you see the next level of tissue, which of course is the veins. If you can't see the veins in your body, that just means that your lymph system's plugged. Now, we put the alcohol in it and it dries fast so I want it very wet and I just put it on just like this. Let it soak in, and you want to put it on not a little, you want it to shine. And I 
put this all over me here. You can see, look at immediately. I took a shower this morning. We both did, okay? I mean, look at the stuff coming off on. I didn't even start to scrub yet. And we're gonna do this to Jer too. And this really, what it does is it takes off all the surface coat, mold, fungus, and you rub everything. And you try to really first just put it on, let it soak in. And then I go back to the other side. Once the alcohol has done its duty, like soap in your sink, you let it sit there for a little while and it eats up the junk more. And you can see just from me doing this just a little bit, look what came off of that. Now, when you do the scrubbing, you want to really, about every 30 seconds maximum, put another douse. Remember, you can't use too much of this. And when you want to really do the scrubbing, you make a fist. And what I do is I, I hold the towel like this in the back here, because what you're trying to do is, is really dig in deep into the pores. And you'll see when I do this, I'm doing it in rotational movements, and I go the other way too, and I go this way left and right, up and down. There's no way to do this. You're just trying to look where my knuckles were. Okay, and now I went, that's my second cleaning. Remember, I went over my stomach first and I got that first part. Now I look at the deeper, deeper cleaning. This is all poor pus, I call it. Now we're gonna do this on Jer. Now what I would do secondarily, because I'm gonna start this, and we're gonna do the same thing on Jer here, is I'm gonna use a little fulvic. The fulvic, what it does is makes my skin so it's way more pliable because it's opening up all the hardness, all the scleroderma, which is basically cement. So we put a little bit of this, and you can use this first to start with. I would use it about 50% dilution rate. So what you do is you put a few squirts of this in water, and then you put the equal amount of whatever you use. Let's say you put a half ounce of this, you put a half ounce of water, and you cut the dilution by half. So what I do is I just put this on me like this, let it soak in. Let's uh, do a small cleaning on Jer here. Now, we're gonna do the same exact, just cleaning on his arm. And then we're gonna do what's called gua sha. And this is very simple. Same thing, put in an ample amount of the alcohol. And we're gonna not do any scrubbing when we do it. I'm just gonna let it soak in. And you can do this yourself. It's best to have a companion when you do this. You're gonna do this every day, uh, sometimes for a week or so. You can do it lightly. You can do it once a week. You can do it a little more aggressively, but you really don't wanna do this aggressively every day. Now, we just did one little part of it, and you can see. Wow, you're just as filthy as me. Wow. We both took showers and clean, cleanse first. Now, what we're gonna do now is put on full strength again, the fulvic. Just put it on. Not a little, you put a lot on. You can put full strength, but I would suggest first by using 50-50. I've never really had anybody that was super sensitive to the pH we're using, but there are people that are older that have very thin skin, and you have to watch that when you scrub because you can actually go through the skin. Now immediately, we can put different solutions on. I can put salt on top of this if I wanted, like say if I waited five minutes, 10 minutes, and I'm gonna be in the sun. If I could actually lay in the sun for about 10 or 15 minutes, these solvents work like 200% better. Okay, here's where the magic starts. We're gonna do now this technique called gua sha, and there's a variety of spoons you can use. I've just found out these work the best. They're a bullhorn, they come off a cow, a cattle, and uh, they're, they're really good to use because they're natural and they're not really aggressive on the skin, but you have to make sure that these are very soft on the outside, so if you get one of these, make sure that the edges are very smooth before you start working with the product. Now, coconut oil, very essential. This is centrifuge coconut oil. This is the base that we put on top of the solvents. So we're gonna now use this against his skin, but we need a lubricant because if not, we're gonna rip his skin up. So, we do a little bit of coconut oil. No, you put quite a bit on. Same thing. So you just use this as a coating lubricant. And you can see just since I cleaned him there, his skin is like super, super soft. And whatever we took off it was all dead skin. And let's just do this one part here. But what you do is you put the oil on everywhere, okay, just like that. And the oil remembers alkaline. So now what I do is I put on some magnesium. And this is a alkaline too. Remember the acid was on first. First we clean the skin, we put the acid on second. Now we're putting on oil, which is alkaline. We're putting on this magnesium, which is alkaline. And you'll notice when I put this on, it may tingle you and you may feel it on you. Oh yeah. You feel it? Mm-hmm. 
And like I said, you put lots of coconut oil, and we're just gonna scrape this off, but you really wanna make sure the skin's lubricated. Let's turn it this way here. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna use, like I said, a bullhorn spoon. Make sure it's very smooth on the edges. And what I do is I hold it like this, and you can use this spoon in a variety of ways. All the edges are usable when you do gua sha, but we're gonna use this edge. Now you'll notice after I go over this spot, you'll see that once we push, and we're not pushing too hard. Remember, the first few times you do this, you do it very easy. And the faster you go, the easier it is, and the slower you go, the deeper you go. Now, you'll notice the little red marks here. This is what's called regeneration. That area didn't have blood before, and we scraped up the skin. First, we softened it, and you can see all we're doing is really taking, and you'll see this weird, like, rusty sludge will come off of you. And this is all coming out of the pores. And it does give you bruises a little bit, so you have to be careful. And the first few times, now let's get a rag here. Okay, remember this is part coconut oil, part, part whatever, but look at the grime, okay? This comes out, and I always told him, he's got yellow on his skin, and the yellow comes off the first time you wipe this solution on you and give yourself a cleaning. Now I can use the top of the blade on all different parts of him. And this is something that you just practice yourself. Remember, this is a lot of exper experimentation. I go wash on the shower every day. I keep one of these blades in my shower and I do this in, under the water. I don't need the real of the coconut oil because the water acts as my lubricant. And what you do is you can turn this sideways like this. And you can see how his muscles, this Ouch. really works <laughs> you. Okay, and it does the same thing. And if he pulls out the hair, same, it doesn't pull. But with the coconut oil, it doesn't really pull. Then we go back a second time, you can see how the tip of the blade, look, gives you a whole more line of material that it pulls out of the pores. This is the last part of the gua sha, of the rejuvenation of the skin. We're gonna put on a, what I call a polisher. I use the magnesium hexahydrate, not the magnesium chloride. The magnesium chloride we use to be able to use with the gua sha. This is just pure magnesium, 100% pharmaceutical grade. So I put a few squirts in my hand and what you want to do is actually rub this together and get the friction going. And the same thing, you put the magnesium on and you really want to rub this stuff in until it starts to stick. And the magnesium is alkaline and it wants to go in your body. Remember, and this was an oil I put on. And look, see how sticky it is already? So the magnesium really goes in, but you have to rub it in. And this is how you feed your body nutrition. The magnesium goes straight into the cells. And the last thing that is so important to put on is silicon. The silicon, I put in my water. It has no bad flavor at all. Give it a flavor. Test. And you know what silicon usually tastes like. Mm -hmm. And silicon is made up of what the crystal's made up. And your body's a solar panel and you want your skin to get better, well, you have to put silicon on it. So I squirt a little silicon, same thing, and I rub it in. And I usually do this on Sunday, this whole big, you know, all day event. We go in the steam room. If you don't have the money for a steam room, well, you go out into the sun. The sun, remember, has far infrared heat. The steam room is a good way to heat yourself up. The jacuzzi is a good way to heat yourself up. A fireplace is a good way to heat yourself up, but you never do this solution unless you warm yourself, get yourself soft first. You're really trying to get pliable. That's really, in a nutshell, all the different, there's, remember, like I said, there's a lot of different ways to do this, but this is a very basic way. We'll go over this more in the future with different techniques and different ways, but you can use these interchangeably. You don't have to use the fulvic first. You can use the magnesium first. You can use these interchangeably because what you're doing is you're just making variability to the skin. Try to make sure, though, you always leave off with coconut oil, okay, with silicon, and make sure that you put on the magnesium daily, and your skin will change magnificently just in about 60 days.